Listen. Wisdom is calling out the streets and marketplaces, calling loudly at the city gates and wherever people come together. Listen. Wisdom is calling out the streets and marketplaces, calling loudly at the city gates and wherever people come together. Foolish people, how long do you want to be foolish? How long do you enjoy making fun of knowledge? Will you never learn? Listen, when I reprimand you, I will give you good advice and share my knowledge with you. I have been calling you, inviting you to come, but you would not listen. You paid no attention to me. You have ignored all my advice and have not been willing to let me correct you. So when you get into trouble, I will laugh at you. I will make fun of you when terror strikes. When it comes on you like a storm, bringing fierce winds of trouble, and you are in pain and misery, then you will call for me, but I will not answer. You may look for me everywhere, but you will not find me. You have never had any use for knowledge and have always refused to obey the Lord. You have never wanted my advice or paid any attention when I corrected you. So then, you will get what you deserve. In your own actions will make you sick. Inexperienced people die because they reject wisdom. Stupid people are destroyed by their own lack of concern. But whoever listens to me will have security. He will be safe with no reason to be afraid. All wisdom comes from the Lord, and wisdom is with Him forever. Who can count raindrops or the sun along the shore? Who can count the days of eternity? How high is the sky? How wide is the earth? How deep is the ocean? How profound is wisdom? Can anyone find answers to these questions? Wisdom was created before anything else. Understanding has always existed. Has anyone ever been shown where wisdom originates? Does anyone understand her subtle cleverness? There is only one who is wise, and we must stand in awe before his throne. The Lord himself created wisdom. He saw her and recognized her value. And so he filled everything he made with wisdom. He gave some measure of wisdom to everyone, but poured her out on those who love him. If you fear the Lord, honor and pride will be yours. You will be crowned with happiness and joy. To honor the Lord is a heartfelt delight it will give a long and happy life. And at the end of your days, all will go well for you. God will bless you on the day of your death. To fear the Lord is the first step to wisdom. Wisdom is given to the faithful in her mother's wounds. She has lived with us from ancient times and generations to come will rely on her. To fear the Lord is wisdom of her fullest. She satisfies us completely with her gifts and fills our homes and our barns with all that our hearts can desire. To fear the Lord is the flower of wisdom that blossoms with peace and good health. She sends knowledge and understanding like the rain and increases the honor of those who receive her. To fear the Lord 
is the root of wisdom. Her branches are long life. <laughs>